While xylem and phloem are found in all parts of the plant, at this station we're going to be looking at them in the stem. In stems, xylem and phloem are located near the edges to resist compression and bending. Remember, dicots have a ring of vascular bundles, while in monocots, the vascular bundles will be scattered throughout the stem. Keep that in mind as we look at these vascular bundles under the scope. Seen here is a cross section of a dicot stem, and you can really see the xylem and phloem very well. Again, those are the vascular structures that, that will be transporting water and nutrients. This ring goes all the way around the outside of our stem here in little bundles that form a nice ring. All right, so let's go ahead and look at a monocot stem. So here you see there's no ring. The vascular structures are just kind of scattered all throughout the stem. There's no real organization or pattern. Now that we've looked at some cross sections of stems under the microscope, I'm going to show you some celery that has been dyed so we can view its vascular bundles. Based on what you saw under the scope and what you've learned at this station, you're going to decide whether the celery is a monocot or a dicot and record that on your handout. Once you've filled out all the inf other information for this station, you can move on to the next video.